Hello folks, today we're going to talk about doing things for profit versus not for profit. So we have this general idea, many people in society, that if you do something and you don't profit financially from it, you're doing a better thing. And I think that probably isn't really the case. And I'm going to use several examples. The reason this came up is Jeff Berwick, the founder of Anarchapoco, recently put out a video talking about uh, not allowing people to uh, videotape, audio uh, record the entirety of certain speeches at his event. And some people thought, hey, you know, we're, we're all in this together. We're all here to try to make voluntarism, anarcho-capitalism work. How dare you, uh, you know, not let people just do this? And yeah, he's renting the place. It's his property, but pretty nasty of him not to let people do that. Well, I'm here to offer a little bit different perspective. Um, it is taking away value for that particular circumstance. One of the things of value is I get to go and record it all and put it on my YouTube channel helps make the many, many, many thousands of dollars uh, that it costs to make the trip, helps make me say, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. But that's not a moral thing. That's just me making a decision whether or not I want to buy something. So Jeff decided, uh, you know, not going to let people do this audio recording. Next year, it's going to be a bigger deal. And the board is going to decide, uh, but they're not going to let people do this. And I say that's just fine. I say that Jeff probably started out the first Anarchapoco, I don't know, but the goal was, hey, I like being around like-minded people, I like building my tribe, I'm going to put this thing on, maybe we make a few bucks, maybe not, who really cares? Then as years went by, he said, hey, I can make money doing this, and now it's a full-blown commercial operation that still has something to do with anarcho-capitalism, but it's more, the, the target market is a more of an alternative type thing, and there's still a little bit of ANCAP left in it, but not as much as, as some would like, and way more than others. But should he be blamed for this? I say no. And I'm going to use the same example for me. I have a business in which I teach firearms safety, firearms fun, that kind of stuff. And there are a lot of people that have been in the same industry for many years that have done this for free. And they take great pride, and I, and, you know, I go out and I teach people, I introduce them to firearms, and, and I help them learn, and, and I do it because I have a passion for it. And there were some people that didn't care for the idea that I was doing this as a for-profit kind of thing, and that I charge well, more than any other shooting instructor in the world for what it is that I teach. And people thought, that's just horrible. You shouldn't make money doing this. Well, then I think of another example. What about the minister who really believes deeply in his monotheistic thing and wants to go out and spread the gospel and comes up with the idea, hey, why don't I start charging for this? If I can find a way to monetize it and I can make a living doing what I love, how great is that? So in these three examples, liberty activism, shooting instruction, and ministering, it occurs to me that it's probably okay to make a few bucks doing it or a ton of bucks doing it. More power to the person. That takes nothing away from the people that are doing it for free. I still do some, well, for me, liberty activism isn't a money maker. It actually costs me a bunch of money, but I do it because I'm passionate about it and I have another source of income. I am completely okay with a minister charging for his services, selling books, you know, giving a lot of tithe speeches. I'm fine with Jeff making money selling t-shirts and, and videos and, and a subscription server, whatever it is, more power to them. And if I want to do liberty activism and not get paid for it or even have it cost me money, it's up to me. It doesn't make me any better morally than Jeff or his uh, organization. So that's just kind of my thought about it. And uh, what are your thoughts? It, does it kind of turn a person into a little bit of a bastage if they are charging for what it is they do? If it's something that we all agree we love, why not make some money at the same time? What can it hurt?